Let's develop this application structure. We'll want to have a title div, first of all, with a header three element tag that just says goals. Let's take out this app part right here. Let's have a div. Let's have a header three element tag that just says goals. Cool. Now let's add two divs. The first one will say add goal and the second one will say goal list. Let's save. Now of course, these two divs severely lack functionality, but we'll handle creating both of these divs as actual components one at a time. First, let's handle creating an add goal component. So head to the components folder and create a new file called add goal dot jsx add goal dot jsx now let's import our default react code so we'll need to import the component this is going to be a component from react let's declare the add goal class which extends component let's export add goal by default Let's work on rendering and returning some JSX now. So in our add goal component, we're going to have an overall div and we're going to take advantage of bootstrap again and have a form inline where the user can type their goal that they want to add. The very beginning, we're going to have a form group already. Some nice bootstrap structuring for us. Let's have our input field. Its type will be text. The placeholder will be add a goal. The class name will be form control, which will give it some nice styling. And later on, we're gonna have a button right next to it. So let's give it some styling already of margin right five pixels. So that way they don't touch each other when they're aligned side to side. And this has to be an inner object in here because the style property for input requires an object. Now let's handle creating that button. Its class names will be BTN and button success, which I believe gives it a green color. Its type will be button. And it's not class name, it is class name. Now let's give it an actual title. So we'll say submit. And then we're going to want some state within this component. So let's define a constructor whose props will be the first argument, super props. So we have that object oriented style. Then let's declare our state object with a title that is a blank string. And now we can add our on change function for the input field. And we're getting pretty good at this, so let's declare an event variable. We'll set the state of our title to event.target.value. This must be rote memory for you guys at this point. We'll do on click. We'll have an anonymous error function. Call a helper method we're going to define right now called add goal. Let's do add goal. And let's simply console.log the current state check whatever the user typed as the title. Now, as we save, it won't show up yet because we still need to import it within our actual app. So let's import add goal from the same directory, so dot slash add goal. And let's replace this div that we created earlier called add goal with our actual add goal. And it'll be a self-enclosing tag. So don't forget that extra space. Let's save. And there's our add goal component. So let's inspect the element and see what happens when I click that submit button. Let's say our goal will be to outline the meeting. And there we go, we have our state logging. So before we add any new functionality, let's think about references in Firebase. Go ahead and navigate to your Firebase project. And let's click on database. So to find it, 
go to the side menu and just do database. It's blank for now, but we can start populating our database with data by using a reference to our component with any name that we like. Think of the database as one huge JavaScript object or an object in general. It will have keys that either map to more objects or just values like strings or numbers. Each of these keys has a random name or a name that we specify. So let's specify our first reference to this database by now heading to firebase.js. Let's define a new constant called goalref within our Firebase. We'll set it equal to the Firebase that we originally defined. We'll call the database module. And then we'll start our reference by calling dot ref. And then we'll pass the name of our actual key, which will be goals. And of course, we want to export this whole thing so that other files can use it. Now in our add goal component, we want to import that goal ref from Firebase. So let's import goal ref from, let's go back one directory to Firebase. Now in our helper function, we simply need to call goal ref dot push. And then we can pass any object that we want and it will automatically update in our database. So for now, let's do a test email. So test at test.com. Then we want our title to be this.state.title. And let's see what happens. As I save, let's head back to our application. And once again, let's say prepare the meeting or outline the meeting, submit. And there we go, we have it logging. So let's check our database. And nice, we have a new goals key with our object, which has a random name to it now, but with our email and our title. Cool beans. So let's make this code more efficient. We're gonna want to have our actual email of our user. And of course we can use the ES6 trick to grab our title from this.state. We simply need to argue the title. And then we want to connect this to our Redux. So let's import connect from React Redux. We'll declare a quick map state to props function. So function map state to props state. And let's grab the email from our state and return the email. And then we actually need to connect this component to Redux. So remember, argue map state to props is the first function, and then we don't have any action creators, so null will be our second function. We're so close, but now we actually need to grab our email from this.props, because we should be getting that from Redux. And then we can use ex6 shorthand again and simply push this. So let's save. And why not log all of this instead of just this dot state because now we're actually manipulating props. Save once more, head back to the application and I spelled connect wrong at the bottom. So let's save once more and there we go. How about prepare the luncheon? Let's submit that. And as we go to our Firebase console, our email is now harry at potter.com. Great! So now that we have our database updating with goals, our application also needs to update the goals on the user interface. So let's tackle that in the next video.